Hola, konnichiwa. Como estas? Como esta na? Ni hao. Da jia hao. Sawadee krab. Welcome to Sweat Daily. I am the old ass Mr. Miyagi, as you know. Today we're doing a, a Lululemon product review once again. Uh, if you are a fan of Lululemon, if you don't know what Lulu is, make sure you Google it. Check it out. It's an active sportswear. Last week I was talking to someone from America. <clears throat> this young guy, he goes, Lululemon? Isn't that a girl's brand? What are you, you hardcore crossfitting, weightlifting, pull up pulling, bro, doing with this brand? I said, no bro, they make really good high, high quality uh, anti-fragile product that all guys can wear and uh, the ladies love it too. All right, so real quickly, if you haven't checked out my other Lululemon bag review, uh, hit up the link above or below, or just, just do a search on my channel, on the Sweat Daily channel, and uh, check out this uh, really nice everyday bag that you can have uh, for your travels, for your work, your school, whatever. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today we're going to be talking about uh, specifically the Lululemon shorts. Okay, so a lot of guys like me, we squat a lot. We do a lot of deadlifts, squats, and uh, we just cannot find uh, shorts or apparel that quite fit our, our glutes. Okay, usually if you do a lot of functional training, your glutes stick out. Your, your shoulders are quite, are quite pronounced, okay? So we really need to find shorts or apparel that can uh, complement our uh, amazing fatigue, uh, physique, fatigue, if I have to say it myself. <clears throat> so we're gonna go, we're gonna go through uh, three pair of shorts. It's the short, okay, T-H-E, the short, and also, uh, I think it's a pace setter short, which is a, a, a one very popular one, and one of the latest uh, product from their their shorts uh, comp completion, uh, which is the I think it's called the license to train short. All right, each have its own unique style and flavor. So let's get into it. Boom! Real quickly, if you can see what I'm wearing. Da, da, da. I'm wearing one of uh, today's review products. It is a uh, camouflage color uh, Lululemon uh, short. It's linerless, meaning they don't. It doesn't have a liner inside, so uh, so it's nice and breezy. Okay, if you're someone like me who is more free-loving, fun-loving type of uh, old dude you're probably not going to wear any briefs inside, underneath. Which is all good because it is, uh, it is what you are, what, what you, what you, are, you know, you do what you like. Uh, it's a nice, nice comfortable short, uh, very stretchy materials, almost see-through though, almost see-through. It's very, very stretchy, the quality is high, you can tell by the seams on the side, and also there's a little split on the side, which is very good for your squats and your jumps and, and just kind of looks great. Uh, the logo itself is uh, at the same place which is a few inches above your knee right here. It's got a side pocket. I think it's the side or the back. The side or back pocket. Uh, it's kind of big and stretchy. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Uh, probably not, uh, uh, not not, you don't want to make it too bulky, okay? It's just not, not a good look. Uh, the pockets themselves are all right. So the, the thing I like about the, uh, some of the new lemon products is that they all have these nice uh, addition, additional, uh, I think it's for either your, your wallet or for your cell phone, okay? So it's got a nice additional uh, pocket, inside the pocket and on the left side here, it's got something for, I think this is for your keys or your earbuds or something. So, you know, it's, it's very practical, it's very convenient. And uh, 
with these little drawstrings, you can wear them out or wear them in. I just let them out, let them hang loose, brother. And when we come back, we'll go to the next short. Here we go. Lululemon uh, pace setter short, right? So I'm not wearing this one, thank God. This one's got a liner inside, which means you get a little bit of stocking coverage in your booty. All right, pretty good material. It feels really comfortable. This the, the, this short here is uh, designed for, I think, running and general general gymming. Uh, it is nine inch, so uh, it covers most of your uh, upper leg, which is good. You know, uh, they, they've got they've got some shorter shorter uh, length shorts. Uh, in their in their shops as well, but personally, I prefer the longer ones. You know, back in the you know the early 2000s or the, the 90s, you know, everyone was wearing baggy jeans, baggy shorts. Everyone just wanted to be baggy and have hot. But these days, I think I think the, the trend is like start start to dial back into something that's more comfortable fitting, uh, because in the last decade or last few years. Everyone was, was gearing towards the, the tight fitting, not so great around your sack kind of look, uh, which is not great. And, and guys, you just don't want to be showing too much skin, okay? Unless, yeah, let me reserve what I'm gonna say. All right, so the Pace Setter Short uh, logo is at the back. At the same time, it's got a little uh, detail on the back here as you can see right the little uh, line this little see-through line around here uh, around your uh, the outer areas of your butt um, still very stretchy uh, I like to talk about pockets. This one, the pocket is definitely on the side okay so there's a little side pocket it's not big not not, not as uh, massive is like the short uh, so I think this is more for your earbuds or your keys the pockets they don't have the built-in additional cell phone pockets uh, which is all good because when you're training you probably don't want to have your cell phone there but they do have a cell phone a mobile phone pocket and in the inside which is very cleverly designed I like this short for a variety of reasons and uh, this is North Carolina color so if you are from the, the 70s and 80s and the 90s you know Michael Jordan baby blue color North Carolina all the way all right last but not the least is the brand new license to train short this one is a little bit shorter than the, the other two, so it's uh, seven inches, okay? What I like about this one is the material is very, what they call uh, abrasion resistant. So, you know, if you're doing crossfit weightlifting, sometimes you get uh, to have barbells rolling up on your, on your shorts and it, it can create a lot of friction and the friction is gonna damage the fabric. This one here, the, the material is supposed to be resistant to that kind of uh, movement. It's got an inner which is slightly thicker and not as breathable. Uh, but I think they're designed to really wrap around your thighs and give you that pumped up look. All right, cool. Uh, it's got a few different pockets. Uh, pockets in the back. I don't know if you can see, there's a pocket in the back and it's got a little bit of hang hoop right there. Or whatever you need to hook on. Both of the pockets are sealable, okay, so with a little zipper there. The pocket inside has got your multi function uh, additional inner pockets, which is really convenient. And on the side, that's what it looks like on the side. Ta da! It's got, I think it's got a LTT written on it. If 
someone can comment down below and tell me what it means. I'm just too old to uh, catch up with these slight like, lingo, okay? These abbrevi abbreviations. Uh, the logo looks nice right here. And uh, yeah, they make, they make it look, you know, really ready to train, kind of. Uh, and then it's got like reflective little bits here, reflective bits here, reflective bits. So like if you're running at night with these shorts, it will be fine. And also a little hook here, which is quite convenient, quite practical if you try to hang it up for washing or just hang it up somewhere. Uh, the drawstrings are long as usual and uh, hopefully they'll last for a while. And just try not to, not to have them sort of caught on, caught on, I guess, like in a, when we're doing a soap bite or something. Um, yeah, other than that, it's great. Uh, they made a little uh, improvement or uh, modification on the, on the drawstring ends. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, okay, so it's like more angular. Okay, the, the older style drawstrings are rounded. Which one do you like? Comment down below. I have no idea why they did it. Um, yeah, but anyway, <clears throat> these shorts, they are retail for a hundred bucks. New Zealand, in New Zealand, hundred bucks in New Zealand dollars in New Zealand. I don't know if you want to spend that much money on a pair of shorts, but last forever and they've got a lifetime, uh, lifetime warranty. The short, these I think the, these are eighty or ninety dollars. Uh, I'm sorry, pay pay setter, uh, eighty or ninety dollars, and then the short, ninety dollars. So, all up, <coughs> this is uh, hopefully it helped. Hopefully, uh, uh, this helps you to uh, create a, a more rational buying decision. But we know. In retail, it's all about impulse buying. So just go out there and grab your gear, whatever you like. All right, and please do like, share, and comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And have a sweaty one, yo. Ooh.